Hey, I'm Ryan Reynolds. At Mint Mobile, we like to do the opposite of what Big Wireless does. They charge you a lot, we charge you a little. So naturally, when they announced they'd be raising their prices due to inflation, we decided to deflate our prices due to not hating you. That's right. We're cutting the price of Mint Unlimited from $30 a month to just $15 a month. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes in details. This is Ricey. You've been hearing my friend Josh Arnold, Mr. Money Talk, for years on the Radio and Garage Logic podcast. With the new year approaching, I strongly recommend you sit down with Josh for your no cost, no obligation, 48 minute consultation on your investments, including your IRA and 401k. You can benefit from Josh's years of experience navigating different market and economic conditions, and he'll always give you straight talk and not sugar coated advice. Advice. Give Josh a call now at 952-925-5608 to book your no-cost, no-obligation, 48-minute consultation. That's 952-925-5608. You'll be glad that you did, and tell him Ricey sent you. Don't forget to ask, why is it 48 minutes, Josh? Investment services offered by Josh Arnold Investment Consultant, LLC, a security investment advisor. Past performance is no guarantee of future results. All investments involve risk. All comments and opinions are Josh Arnold's and do not constitute Institute investment advice. Patrick Royce is a paid endorser. It's something after kind of funny. Pause. Sorry. Yeah. So, what you're taking away from that Chiefs Bills epic contest mm-hmm. is that Kelsey's brother. Turned it into jumping over off the ropes in pro wrestling. Is that right? Uh, no, I, I, it was a <laughs> fun game. I'm just saying that they're getting closer to what I've been saying yeah. for 10 or 15 years. They're headed that way. Pro wrestling, yes. Mm-hmm. This, the, 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 what's his name, the older one? Jason Kelsey. Jason. He's working hard to oh. be a TV guy. You Are know? you kidding me? He if he wants, already doesn't have a 10-year yeah, contract yeah, after last night. Uh, he's working hard to uh, get into that. I and, told Joe yeah. earlier, Pat, there was a great ca- a quote where it's got the stand-alone photo of Kelsey with the Taylor Swift right behind him. It says, uh. oh, sure, it's fun and games when Jason Kelsey does it. When I do it, it's time to go home. <laughs> Uh, they didn't show us much Taylor, really. A couple of little snippets. Three or four times, it. I think. Uh, you got your Taylor shots because I had to yell them out. That was my job. Yeah. Then what do we do? And then the kids run down and you back it up? No, so they just turn their heads to we'll see it because so, oh, okay. they're doing something else. Right? <laughs> The, the fact that we're driving down to get the clinching that's touchdown. That's not important. And the guy fumbles through the end zone. Right. That's not. That's not they that weren't interested not, in that part. That no. wasn't part. But the last snippet I saw Taylor was like four seconds. I want her and the other women up there doing the, the dance, the swivel thing, the, the sway. They're going left. Yeah, they and love the sway. Right, <laughs> then they're coming down. To, you know, it's coming down yeah. underneath. Like it's, the Calcutta. It's like the Clipper Cal, the Calcutta <laughs> Clipper. It's a, it looks like the very rapid Calcutta Clipper. I like that Pat one. Pat Kenny insists Detroit's going to win the Super Bowl. God, I would love it. Wouldn't I that be it would fun? Be fantastic. I'd like to fly in and see the parade. Dear There'd God. Be death in the streets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, out of happiness. Yeah. How many times do people get to die of happiness? It you took were, a female were, Ford to turn that club around. Yeah, well. Yeah. The, and somebody. And Ford, whatever her last name is. She's a granddaughter, and she I said, guess. Uh, let's, let's get smart here. Let's stop being stupid. Yeah. And they brought in this guy who'd been with the Rams for, what, 30 years as a Brad Holmes. lackey, Brad Holmes. And he said, I got a good idea. Uh, let's get really rotten and then draft some really good players. Yeah. There you go. Uh, see, see how that works. I love the kid from uh, Chan Ass and Chaska, though. Is Frank he, Ragnow. Is Ragnow. Chaskow his address? I believe he's a Chaska kid, or he, almost a Waconia kid, he but he went to Chan Ass in high school. Chan. I've talked to him a few times, but he, uh, I texted him last week trying to get him on the phone, and it said his notifications have been turned off. Uh, so I'm sure he's he was trying locked to in. concentrate fully. Great kid. You know, his dad, uh, who was, I mean, he was just beyond close to him, uh, died of a heart attack when he was still in Arkansas. 
and uh, it just shattered the kid. And uh, Bielema put him on a plane and flew back with him and went to the, uh, you know, Ar- he was at Arkansas mm-hmm. then as the coach. And uh, and uh, I talked to him. Uh, I've talked to him a few times, but he's 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 zeroed in this week. So uh, he played hurt too. Oh he was, God, he's got every, do you know every his, ailment known to man. Right. Do you know his first playing hurt story when Stafford was still his quarterback? Hmm. He played a couple of games at the end of the se- uh, end of the season with a broken throat. Yeah, that's right. Broken he got, throat. He got, yes. He got a little. Yeah, that thing got. He got a kicked bit. into the you know in the scrum. He got kicked in the throat. Wow. Couldn't talk. And Stafford said, what's wrong? He was doing one of these. He just kept playing. That's a football player right there. And what a name for him, too. Rag. Rag now. Oh, man. Yeah, he's a good kid, too. And uh, it was uh, good luck to him. But the... uh, you know, Goff's really working out for that club. Yeah, he has. It, what a great trade, man! Yeah. They gave up Stafford. They got a bunch of draft choices. And they got Goff. They well, took they Goff gained. Off they their gained. Hands. They gained youth with Goff. Oh yes, yeah, he can be their quarterback for Stafford's a while. Stafford's what now? About thirty-five? Yeah, at least. This kid's yeah. twenty-nine, I think. Yeah. yeah. They, uh, they they probably are going to have to go big for him pretty soon. I though, would but, guess. But one of their advantages is. You know, they got a young roster without, they don't have to pay these guys ungodly amounts of money. Yet. Isn't it something, though? The Vikings are not in this conversation. No. In the NFC North, the no, Vikings the, are. The Packers. The Bears just, have great plans. Mm-hmm. The Packers urinated that one away. Yeah. They had her won. They outplayed them most of the day. I just kept telling myself, how are they, they got to find a way to lose this game. Mm-hmm. I can't stand Oh, I was the, rooting for oh, Green Bay. Were you really? Oh, Green God, Bay, yes. Green Bay, Detroit final? Green yes, Bay, Detroit final would have been point. heaven. Don't you have any NFC North pride? Yeah, I where's your pride? Your, I saw your tweets. Yeah. Right. Was it Saturday night? Oh, you were yeah, tweeting? I love, I love <laughs> digging these. You know, we hate the Packers. Oh, what well, would they do? You know, I mean, what, you know. Although Weren't I did they the state's no. team prior to 1961? In this area, is yeah. down on the prairie, we got Papa Bear you got the and the Borash Chicago Bears. Okay. Yeah. Up here, you had Vincent. Yeah. Uh, there was an old story about uh, Cedric Adams. You remember him? Oh, sure. Well, he would say, uh, turn on your porch lights tonight. The Packers are flying home. <laughs> and then right? and everybody around northern Wisconsin and northern Minnesota would turn their lights on mm. to get the Packers home. And uh, the, the people flying in back in the 50s, Fly, you know, to when one out of 50 Minnesotans had been on an airplane, yeah. once they were in the war, uh, would be flying in, and at 1025, all the lights would go out because yep. the WCCO radio news yep. with Cedric Adams, I don't know who the weather guy was, but Halsey doing sports yep. would, be, would be over. Yep. They had deadlines that Halsey would cover a game, Go have a few pops. Right. Uh, go in and do the news at CCO and then come back and write it. Except sometimes he'd forget to come yeah. back and write it and somebody else would have to write it off the AP story. But uh, He was a good writer, by the way. Oh, he was a very yeah. good. He was a very bright guy. Yeah. He just, uh, you know, he had a very, very strong fondness for Bombay Gin. Right. And, and other forms of gin, but Bombay was his favorite. But anyway, yes, that was... Uh, uh, you know, I, I thought that was a hell of a football game, though. It, mm-hmm. it, I mean, I've spent all year watching football. Say, God, this game's terrible. All the referees are deciding it. It's all penalties. That game was high drama. Oh, yeah. How do you, you know, you could hear the groan from here when the guy missed, when the kid missed the field goal. Oh, oh God, it was <laughs> terrible. Oh. And it's the collective, not again. You know, mm-hmm. you've got to be kidding me. And I, I, but I will say this. If he makes the field goal, you know damn well Mahomes drives him down the field with a minute and a half left. I think it's one of the most amazing stats in sports. They couldn't stop him. That Mahomes has been in the AFC Championship game six consecutive six years. Yep. Row, yeah. And this year. It's amazing. The, this year, the middle of the season, you thought, how is he going to do it with this collection? Yep. The Especially. receivers are terrible. He was missing, what, Tony didn't play. And granted, they're, yeah, they're, all of the receivers are all like number threes. Yeah. But they were still missing him. I, I that that was pretty impressive what he did yesterday. In that uh, in that weather, but here's what gets to me: we this our admiration for the NFL wavers somewhat during the season. 
But you get to this time of year when they're playing at huge stakes and the wind's howling 30 miles an hour in Buffalo and it's 15 degrees or you're in Kansas City the week before and it's a minus 7 these guys aren't human. Mm-hmm. They're not human out there competing, hitting each other, running into each other. It's the, the, and, and what? How many guys dragged off the field yesterday during the course of the game? Twelve, probably. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah but you know, a lot of visits down. to the tent. Yeah, the tent is, uh, you know, and then you got some snoop oh. up in the sta- up in the press box. Telling you that guy might have a concussion. Well, yeah. let him worry about it. Yeah. Let him worry about the concussion. <laughs> That's his we problem. Don't, we don't need somebody from right. up there to interrupt. All of a sudden, they come running in and stop the play about two minutes, be- two seconds before the ball snapped. Oh, you remind me of something. And I can't remember. I know Joe has this opinion, but I can't remember if you do as well. For you two to talk about certain broadcasters, uh, you know, locally and nationally about not being able to shut up, you got to stop with Tony Romo. He is the king of Tony, shut up. Well, Greg Olson's a rival. Oh, Greg Olson's right behind him. Yeah, Greg Olson's still talking about the last play when the the new play's going on. We got to settle down here. We don't need 45 seconds on every single play and what it meant. The one that still drives me nuts is Justin Morneau. (laughs) I see. I wasn't going to name him, but I mean, you decided to. I love to. him. Justin, I love him. He's a hell of a guy, but he talks too much. The guy's out, Justin. We're, uh, <laughs> yeah. we're on to the next one. I, I love him. I use the line to, on Justin on Twitter and say, Justin reminds me of myself as a column writer. Mm-hmm. It takes a while to get to the point, and sometimes there's not one. That's right. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's uh, you know, that's, I think he read it because the next time I saw him, things were cool. I but, see. Uh, but but I Tony Romo's the king. Oh, God, he was bad yesterday. I, I, I seriously, I but said. But I still think he gives you some dope. Yeah, it gives you does. some dope. But it doesn't need to be on every single play. Well, they all do that. And let's check in with Gene. Gene, what'd you think about that? Yeah. I don't care what Gene Serator Gene, thinks. Well, plus Gene is going to uh Gene, I've seen him in the past act, occasionally rip the officials, but yesterday he was all in on defending them on every call. Yep. Even the one where they threw the flag twenty five seconds after yeah, the play I didn't like was that. over. Yeah. We can't have a big consultation on each play to see if somebody violated the And that, that was not pass interference. No. No, it was, it was not. not. It was not. But he defended them. Right. Yeah, which right. he shouldn't have. Which, uh, but the, I'm sure these uh, uh, guys who are the uh, uh, supposedly neutral official consultants are uh, monitored by the uh, league oh, yes. very closely and called on Monday if they mm-hmm. uh, called out the officials too uh, mm-hmm. too harsh. And you don't want to upset upset that train, that no. freight train of money. You're no. not going to say anything bad there. So, yeah, it, you know Pierre, uh, 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 what you call Mike, whatever his name was. He kind of he started quite the phenomenon. Now you, you can watch some dumbass game from the Mountain West Football Conference now, <laughs> and you got to have your foot. You got to have your refereeing expert. Yes, he apparently ads. They, you know what? Yesterday, I think we're slipping in extra ads too, aren't we? It was long. I mean, they ran. They, you know, two minute warning. It, take a timeout at two oh six. And they go to an ad, and then they it take was, you to the ads warning. were Super Bowl s too. I think we're yeah. getting a little preview. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, they were. So, but it was a hell of a football game. And the Lions, we're all Lions fans now. Aren't I we? am. I am too. It's too bad Buffalo is gone though, because you could have taken these two old, yep. beat up towns, Buffalo much more so than Detroit, and put them in the Super. And Bowl. And they're about game. what five hours from each other? Yeah, not at all. That would have been a wonderful Super Bowl. Yep. God, I wish uh, I, I wish Buffalo had won because I had the uh, I had the Kirk crowd all worked up yesterday. <laughs> so I was going to point out that the four states represented in the semifinals all voted for Biden in 2020. <laughs> it would have driven them freaking crazy. It would have it would have been it would have been because uh, I finally went out and said this is my opinion, mm-hmm. Kirk's. Popularity was the the number of Kirk sick sycophants increased fivefold when he was revealed to be a non vaxxer. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, and that's just my opinion. I might be wrong, but boy, people went no. Nah. <laughs> a non-vaxer, but he's getting juice shot into his heel. Yeah, in Trinidad or wherever mm-hmm. the hell he went. And you to know get how the magic he... juice. And by the way, this idea that boy, he really his preference is really to come back to Minnesota. His preference is to take the best four-year deal he can get at age 36. He yeah. stirred him up last week when he was asked if he wouldn't mind playing for Coach Bill Belichick. Yeah. And he said, of course. And then, if, oh, my God, we're going to lose Kirk. I got a yeah. question about Belichick. Yes, sir. Why has he had two interviews with Atlanta? You're either going to hire Belichick or you're not. Yes, Why do true. we need two interviews? Maybe he's interviewing them. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I think isn't the first one the virtual one where you just – no, I, I thought he know. came in. No, but that's the first one. And no, then the second thought, one know, the is in person. The first one he didn't do in person. I think, I think the first one was virtually. Wouldn't Belichick be telling you whether he'd yes. lead the coach or not? I think a little bit of the sh- Belichick shine has wore off. Well, That's well, the only he's, interview he's had. He's got Would he have himself. a quarterback in Atlanta? He's, no, he's no. got to get himself. That's why him. Kirk was asked about that. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but Bill doesn't want a 36-year-old. Kirk Bill he wants, wants the next Brady. Kirk, Kirk's seventy one. He's probably only gonna go three, four years. Seventy one. Bill is. Bill. Oh, Bill is seventy one. But Bill Kirk's wants seven. enough wins to pass Don Shula yeah. as quick as possible. That's what Bill wants. I bet if I was an Atlanta sports writer, though, I'd be in a panic that I get that surly SOB as my Oof. as my uh Houses catch coach. fire all the time. That's the other problem insurance. is they have a GM down there. Are they gonna are they gonna Oh they got the don't they have a young hotshot? Yeah, are they gonna? That, that's but he gets be to be the GM, doesn't he? No, I don't know. He no. was in New England, wasn't yes, he? He was. But that's, that, that's why that's he's the, not unemployed. That, that's why he's. Uh, <laughs> that's why he's uh, going back for a second interview. How are we gonna work this out here? You yeah. Know? Can you? Uh, you're not gonna make all the personnel decisions. I'm gonna. Right. I'm gonna give you your 58, and you do the best you can with them. Maybe I don't. Uh, but yeah, it was. Uh, now the other big story that we both had to miss because of primarily because of football was Nick Dunlop. How about that? I didn't see any of it. I watched a little bit. An amateur wins the uh, Bob Hope. He can hit it down to the Allianz Stadium right. from here. It's unbelievable how far he hits it. And first one since '91, Phil. Bill. And uh, he's a uh, terrific, uh, you know. Talent, the U.S. amateur champion. Did he win another one of the amateurs too? I think. When will he go pro? He can go tomorrow if he wants to, but, but he still won't get that money. The, no, no. The the runner-up gets the full first prize. Right. Uh, that guy with the very long name, and I don't know Bazoo what country. Country? Yeah. What what country is he from? South I don't Africa. Know. He's a South African. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I wonder which side he was on in apartheid, but uh, with that Dutch name. But uh, anyway. Yeah, uh, Bazoot and Gazuntite. Yeah, <laughs> Gazuntite. That's what my old man would have called him, Gazuntite. <laughs> uh, he finished second. We got about four scores in the paper. It, your your golf coverage and St. Paul's is yeah. terrible. Yes, it is. We, We're not including anything. And we don't print Money One anymore. No. that's. Uh, I want Money One. I want it to. I want it to. We got... We got instead. We got ABC telling us which course they played the first three days. Who cares? Mm-hmm. We don't want to. Yeah, we. Uh, you know, I'm not. How many teams in the Western Conference make the playoffs in hockey? In uh, eight, sir. Eight. Eight. <laughs> We're gonna figure out what the the Wild two unlikely wins. Yeah. They get hammered by Tampa. Although yesterday they. Uh, they had 16 shots and scored, what, five goals or something? Well, they're still not in the hunt for a playoff spot. Well, yeah, but they come home now. They're going to have a good home stand, and they're back in her. They got, uh, they're not, uh, yeah, they're home to Washington, it's Nashville, Washington. and Anaheim. Uh, you know, Anaheim's bad. And, uh, Washington's not having a good year. You know who's amazing? The Winnipeg Jets leading the West. Yep. And Vancouver's second, right? Yep. That's, uh, where'd that come from? Those two teams, they've been down for a while. It's hard to follow Vancouver. They, uh, mm-hmm. oh, they, they, they don't the make game, the newspaper the games a lot. Get in about, <laughs> games come in, and a <laughs> Tuesday game surfaces sometime Friday, usually. So that's true. So uh, anyway, it was a great football weekend, great golf weekend that none of us watched. And, um, you know, 
What uh, what else we got? Uh, got your Timberwolves. Timberwolves. Ooh, they stunk. Lost to the Oklahoma. Fourteen points in the fourth quarter, mm-hmm. throwing it all over the gymnasium. It was pretty cool that they all showed up for Chet's uh, retirement at uh, Minnehaha. Yeah, Academy. that was pretty all cool. His retirement. They retired, know, his retired his jersey. Retired oh, his jersey sorry. at Minnehaha yeah. Academy, yeah. and uh, the whole team showed up. That was pretty cool. And Who's the other said, kid on that team? Somebody that made the, a Josh. Sucks. G- somebody made a Josh Giddy joke. Keep him away from the high school or oh, something. Boy. But he got out from under that charge, right? I Is he the so. the guy in Oklahoma who the Timberwolves so, fans were booing? Yes, supposedly. Because he uh, had an underage date with, date dalliance. With a young gal, but it was it was proven uh, to be not true. Well, well no, he's it was. not being charged. The uh, the first place Thunder, uh, he did not get charged. Right. So it's it's gone. I guess the girl refused to uh, talk to the cops. So. Huh. It was handled outside of the court. And, I see. And he had to write a check. You know, in other it words. started not with I the cops. It did. started not with the cops. It started with the young lady putting something on social media. Right. Uh, ah. Yeah. I, I, what I, is she? Nine? No, no. I don't know. Seventeen, I think. Uh-huh. Oklahoma. You know, I I think that's. The, they got normal laws down there. They don't have like twelve-year-olds or something like. That. Well, you know what we need now in the new uh, world of Monday Night Sports Talk, mm. we got to hear from Patrick about the Valley Group before the magic pause. We got to pause again. Well, but first we got to hear about the Valley. Well, we group. have trouble with the pause. I know we do. I when know we, we do. come back from the pause. I got something that'll stir up the mayor. Very All good. Right. All right. Jim Paul, Brett Paul's Valley Group of GM Dealers. It's after Christmas. They're sitting out there waiting for you. Let's get going. You can come out and get a great deal in Apple Valley or Hastings. Uh, I, I got my eye on that little SUV. It's a small one, fit in my garage. And, you know, if you're an old man with bad knees, it wouldn't be bad to have an SUV because then you can step down. I yeah. mean, it doesn't screw up your knees when you're in the car. They got three uh, three different varieties of uh, SUVs, the Buicks out there. Uh, good prices right now, good interest rates. Jim Paul, Brett Paul, Valley Group of GM Dealers. I bought all my cars there for about 12 years now. And uh, they're out in Apple Valley and in Hastings. Give them a post-Christmas look here. They're uh, they're ready to do business. Hey, it's Cousin Kyle here once again for Underdog Fantasy. It's the best way to accentuate your sports watching experience on the weekends. Make a little easy money picking higher or lower on your favorite player stats. I like to pick touchdowns. I like to pick how well guys will do in the first quarter. I get really weird with my picks. Last weekend, I was one Mike Evans catch away from making $300 on a $5 pick. Underdog is available in 33 states, including Minnesota. We love it. It's a great time to join. Underdog is the best place to play pickums. So sign up, deposit, use promo code ROYCE to get up to $1,000 in bonus cash instantly. That's download the app, use the code ROYCE to get up to $1,000 in bonus cash right now. Select high or lower on your favorite player and cash in on Underdog. Must be 18 plus, 19 plus in Alabama and Nebraska, 19 plus in Colorado for some games, 21 plus Massachusetts and Arizona, and present in a state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Void in Colorado. Concerned with your play, call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpcgambling.org. Arizona, 1-800-NEXT-STEP, 1-800-639-8783 or text next step to 53342. New York, call the 24-7 Hope Line at 1-877-8-HOPE-NY or text Hope and why four six seven three six nine. Pause. All right, Joe. Are you ready? Yes. Let me look this up. Mm-hmm. I gotta go to my email. Here we go. I gotta he go is, to my email. He means business. You know why? His he put the, he on. put the cheaters back on. <laughs> that means you know he's ready. Joe. What? We. Come on. Where the hell is my? Only email? guy I know that keeps cheaters in a glasses case. <laughs> Here's my email. Okay, the twins have announced. The Minnesota Twins have announced their minor league managerial and coaching assignments for 2024. Right. For the fifth consecutive year, all six affiliates will have two pitching coaches, one of them who's bilingual, while the top four levels employ five-person coaching staffs. But here, I just just for giggles, and I want you to remember Calvin and I the operation <laughs> and the operation we had for the minor leagues yep when Wayne Hathaway was your trainer dash equipment manager for right. the, the, the put the some double, ice on it the double a team <laughs> right. the double a team where your best prospects are let's just go here the rookie level florida complex league uh team the the rookie level team 
Seth Field, Seth, Seth Feldman will manage for the fifth year. His three hitting coaches will be Emilio Guerrero, Humberto Miranda, three? and Colin McBride. Three His hitting four coaches. pitching coaches will be Anders Jurdak, Chris Powell, Kevin Rodriguez, and Jesus Sanchez. That's seven. Josh Tolls will serve as the rehab pitching coach That's eight. after joining the organization last year. Nick, N- Nico Giron. Tano, I can't pronounce it, and Tristan Torrey will be the development That's coach. 10. Allison Souza will serve as the lead trainer with 11. Thaddeus Hayes and Matt Smith as assistant trainer. 12, 13. And John Bear, 14. Jean Costello, a, a woman apparently, and Serena Daring, another 15. woman, will be the strength and conditioning coaches. There were three there. John Gentile will serve as the rehab strength and conditioning coach. 17. Nick Coberly, Danny Guerrero, and Daniel Hannett will be the physical therapist (laughs) for the feet at the FCL team. Jesus Christ. Matt Cheeseman is the minor league equipment manager. And Jimmy Conto is the assistant minor league equipment manager. Got to have an assistant. Complex's coordinator of baseball technology will be Kevin Maribel. 23. With Tyler Hickman, (laughs) Alex Lazzaroni, and Michael Lewis hyphen Wetterbird serving as as fellows baseball technology. 27. Uh, That's just one of the teams. That's Uh, the... Rookie league That's team. The rookie league team. Well, this is sick. Cal- Calvin didn't have that many employees. Okay, not, we, not total. Counting the minor major. Oh, no, I know he didn't. Yes, no. So, because it's rookie league, I'm, I'm trying to give them a little bit of an out with you two. Yes. How many of them are are they all on the payroll? Or in other words, is well, this all entry two of level? Them are, no, two of them are fellows, so they must be college students. Right? Okay, okay, but you know but, what it tells me? Uh, How confused are those rookies going to be? Yes, who there's too many. No, there's so too Many, this way. There's too uh, many people in charge. Who are you? Yeah. They say, you know. Three hitting coaches. Three hitting coaches. Ah, but then assistant hitting. And then when you're rehabbing, you got your own coaches. Wow. It's but the whole thing, it's I think I counted last year as 180 in the minor leagues. Hundred I'd have to 180 count employees? Yeah, I, I have to count them again. But good lord. I mean triple A it's got it's unbelievable. Just just because if that's the rookie league, what does Triple A got? Well, Triple A has less because he got. You see the the rookie league. This, this doesn't include the Dominican summer league team, which has right. got about fifteen guys too. But uh, it's it's. I mean, we're cutting payroll. They're trying to cut what thirty million. Yep. I got. I can find ten for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, know? you know. Hey, speaking of uh, the Dominican league. You see, he was ripping the cover off the ball. All svelte. Is Your he, guy is Miguel. He, how's he look? He, he look. I saw a video of him over the weekend. Lost some weight, huh? He he doesn't look like the same player. Who owns his rights? Nobody. Nobody. He's a free agent. Hmm. He did have thirty strikeouts and a hundred at bats, but that's yeah. normal. That's nothing, right? No, that's nothing. Well, good. I hope he gets a job because last year they called him down for a workout in Tampa. Uh, the, the, all the, the twins teams did? And, no, oh, no, his agency. They, they sure, call sure. him in, and they came down, and the scouts came down and looked at him. He was fat, and bat was slow. He was still, but he, I think they sent him to Tampa this year to work out, actually. And he's he's realized that, you know, Miguel, I don't know how much he made. I think his buyout last year was $3 million, and then he had a $27 sure. million, So he made $30 million. And he, I'm sure knowing Miguel, the way he spends money, he's probably got a couple hundred bucks left. <laughs> Does he live in Venezuela? No, no, Dominican Republic. Yeah, but will he go down as one of the big? I mean, it's hard to call him a bust, but no, it's not hard at all. Well, but I'm saying, considering that he came up when he was in reasonable shape in night in uh, his first year and was voted the seventeen. No, no, when he came up to the big leagues, oh. he was twenty-two or something. But he was voted. Uh, remember the MVP? Oh, yeah. he voted the MVP of the 2015 team. He was only here half a year. Yep. And he was, you know, but he got, they, they got, he got a little chubby as the year progressed. So they didn't like DH and M. So that's when they came up with the right field. I know. Uh-huh. Let's put this 270 pounder in right field, <laughs> and uh, that was uh, that. That was the beginning of the the starting time. 
Well, I remember I, I was the first guy to write a column. He's getting fat. Oh, you, you know, got in spring eviscerated. training. I got killed by the uh, the uh, what the the blog, blogosphere. blogosphere. Oh, the blogosphere was, was after nuts. you. But uh, I I gotta say my supportive source on that, perhaps not with the public quotes, but was Manager Molitor was uh, yes. a little put off by the fact he was he he, he reported at two. 52 or 3 the year before when he came up from the minors, mm-hmm. and he was 275 when he got to spring training, and he just kept getting bigger. I mean, he's a huge person. He's right. A, he's a right tackle, really. But, uh, yeah, not not for baseball. I hope he comes back. He's not a bad guy. Everybody no. kind of liked him. Plus, when he can put the, the barrel on that ball, it goes away. So. Even uh, even though the, my last attempt to talk to him uh, was uh, unsuccessful, Hmm. And there were some references to my sexual preference. Is that the, right? Uh, comment yeah. from him? Uh, uh, it, was, it was through the person who went in the locker in the locker room at the Saints game. And I see. Asked him. Asked him. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a there was an adjective ah. in front of the noun used to describe. Uh, I see. My, you know my uh, my sexual preference. I so, see. Uh, yeah. I said, well, uh, somebody's been reading the paper to him, I guess. I don't know. But I, got, but I still have on my uh, phone here the picture of a svelte, yes. me and a spelt um, Miguel, where is it? It's good. I send it out every once in a while. To uh, you got to look under photos. I know. It's, it's, it's a great picture, though. Where is he? <laughs> there, there we are. You ever see two better-looking young skinny guys? <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Yes, it is. Those are two thin guys. <laughs> yes, it is. Jeez. Both of us have lost our way. Yeah. 2015, that was when he first came up. When he first came up. There's my other one when I tried to do that. Or my, remember the guy with the hat? <laughs> I tried to. <laughs> oh, that was the Pharrell hat. <laughs> the Pharrell hat. Yeah, what the Pharrell hat. Pharrell? I don't know. Once he went back to a normal hat, he like disappeared. Right. He, he should go back to the hat, right? <laughs> it's a great hat, man. Right. It's a fantastic hat. Um, speaking of that, I know I asked you Friday, but is today the day we get the... the if Joe makes it or no, not? No, tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, yeah. okay. It's looking good, though. You vote for him? Yes, but did I tell you the adventure? <laughs> no. I didn't get my ballot. Oh, no. So I waited and waited because the mail was being late, right? Right. So I waited and waited, and then I called him. I texted him and said, hey, I didn't get a ballot. And they said, okay, we'll send you a new one. This was after the... Alleged deadline, you know, uh, like by the, the by the time they got I got the new one, it took a week to get to me. They didn't send it priority mail or anything, so I filled it out, rushed it back, sent it priority mail. They told me, whenever it was, it was going to be there on a Saturday. I mailed it on a Thursday. It was going to be there on Saturday, and uh, f- six days later, I got a note saying we never got your ballot. So it looked as though I wasn't going to vote. Yeah. Which had me very fearful if Joe came up one vote short, and then they looked at the voters and it said vacant for me. Ooh. Wouldn't look good. And then uh, the Friday morning, which was the absolute deadline, I got an email saying, we found your ballot. Oh. Well, so, um, is it, you can't just say, hey, here's who I want to vote. No, you can't you do that. you fill out the form. Yeah, you got to fill out the, and the ballot is like old time. Yeah. It comes crunched into an envelope, folded like right. ungodly, and it comes in its paper ballot. And you, you who mark who would be in this class? Uh, Adrian Beltre is going to yeah. get 98%, which tells you how the voting has changed because Adrian Beltre, the third baseman, is a is a slam dunk Hall of Famer, but not a 98% guy. You don't think so? Not a nine because nobody gets that many percent. Ted Williams didn't get ninety eight percent. You know, Mickey Mantle didn't get ninety eight. But you ca- didn't you call him the best third baseman? Uh, I think so. He's he's fantastic. But that what I'm saying is the voting has changed. The, the sure. younger voters are much more generous with their voting, and Joe's an example of that. Sure, Joe in the old day, you know, fifteen years ago with his history, he would have had to wait three, four, five years. But, but is he benefiting, Joe? No, I'm talking about. Is he benefiting greatly from the steroid era guys not getting votes? 
Uh, well, most of them are gone. Most of them are off the ballot now. Oh, I thought the guys like Sheffield were still on. Sheffield's still on, and Sheffield's people are voting for Sheffield. Okay. I don't think he's going to make it, but uh, I guess he was a... Was he ever officially caught? He Sheffield? was named in the, what was the, yeah, we're not going to let everybody know, but it leaked. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, was that the Belco report? No, the uh, Mitchell. Uh, Mitchell report, Mitchell okay. Report. Whichever yeah, one that, that one was. Well, that had a big uh, poppy mention. That had a big poppy on it as well. Yep. Mention in it. But no, that, no, it didn't. It, didn't, it was excised from that okay. uh, big poppy. But uh, Sheffield might make it because he's, you know, but he was... Uh, but yeah, the the steroid guy mostly A Rod's off it, and no, no, it was A Rod. I think was still, still on it. it. Yep. And Bonds is off it, and a couple three of the other guys are off it. Andy Pettit's still on it. I don't vote for him. A lot of people do. So because uh, he got caught. He got caught. Yep. That's it. It's America. That's Royce's rule. It's America. <laughs> you can do anything illegal you want if you don't get caught. Right. right? If you get caught, that's in, in any way in society. It's the whole thing. If you get caught, you know, then then you pay the crime. Well, we're, How well, many times do you speed and not get caught? That's many right. Times. Yeah. Yeah. Like when I got the when the woman picked me up, the, the highway patrol, the yeah. the female trooper picked me up. Over on White Bear Avenue? Yeah. Said, sir, this was this summer. Sir, do you know why uh, I stopped you? And I said, I would guess it's because my seatbelt isn't. Uh, <laughs> and I, I said, I would guess it's because I saw you too late to buckle up my seatbelt. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, do you uh, usually drive with your seatbelt? I said, eh, maybe 30%. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to save yourself. No, no. I'm not going to lie to a trooper. Right. That's right. I'm not going to lie to a trooper. I got caught. I got caught. Was I it the seatbelt that she stopped yeah, you? Yeah, seatbelt, yeah. And I'll be damned. $25 fine and $101 in fees. Really? Cost 126 bucks. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, has it improved your seatbelt usage? Yes. Somewhat. Whenever okay. I see a cop, I act respond much quicker than right. I used. <laughs> His reflex has improved drastically. Yes. yes. You know, they got the seat belts now pretty figured out. Yeah, it's it's I know, not I that know. hard. I yeah. just, like, 80% of the time, I forget. It doesn't bother Doesn't me. your bell ding like crazy? Yeah. No. Well, there's your problem. No, it dings. It dings for about four or five seconds. Oh, it's going to ding the whole trip. Yeah, no, if it dinged the whole trip, I'd identify it. But no, I basically got a car. <laughs> it just that, turns the radio so on. Is that an option? So Can you get that? I said, I don't want one that dings constantly. Just, to, you know, I mean, <laughs> if I'm driving to Byerly, which takes me three minutes. I'm yeah, but it's going to ding the, the whole trip. I'm not going to put the seatbelt on. You know, why? I get the Barleys. I know. Because then it would the... take them three minutes and ten seconds <laughs> yeah, to get that's there. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I got things to I, do. I, I hook the seatbelt up just to avoid the ding. Yeah. Oh, most people do. Yeah. My friend Kenny Lean from Slayton, <laughs> when I was down there, this is ten years ago, I was down there. They had a truck, and Kenny. Never use it. And the guy's got more money than God, but he's driving this old dumpy truck and uh, the whole thing. And he's driving me to Lake Wilson to get a haircut. And he, I think he must be hard of hearing. The thing ding the whole damn time. He ding, ding, ding. He gets in the car, drives to the Twin Cities. Just ding, 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 ding. Oh, ding, that would drive me crazy. Drive, drive, drive me crazy, too. <laughs> Remember when they were optional? The ding or the seat no, belts? No, the seat belts. It wasn't that long ago, right? Oh, it no. It only Pat, became an offense 15 no, we're not years. That, we're not that old. They've been seat think, belts for quite some no, time. No, no, no. But I'm saying when it became uh, the law. Man, man, oh, it, yeah. It became yeah. man. It's, what, yeah. 12 years, maybe? Well, that's yeah, when 12. the ding started Yeah. to reinforce the law. Hey, uh, Jim Paul, here's the deal. Here's the, I, I need get one something without Jim the Paul's, you're going to get dings. <laughs> you know, when you've, when you've grown up, when this was the seatbelt for your kids. That's right. When they were three years old, standing in the front seat, yeah. you went around the corner and you went, uh, yeah, yeah, you just, held them back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh and the one in the back would be rolling around. Right. The, the younger one was in the back and he'd yeah. be rolling around back there. <laughs> and, Remember when cars had lighters? Oh, yeah. My brother Johnny put that mimic smoking a cigarette and just put it right on his lips. <laughs> 
<laughs> big what round Mary? circle of oh, bird right what there. What Mary Helen think? Did I she don't feel know. guilty? I, no, I think he might have been with the old man. Oh, really? Yeah. But they all was saw Henry him smoking. Was a smoker, too? Well, he gave it up, but he was a smoker was when Johnny was alive. Yeah. Yeah. Not not as faithful a smoker as Mary oh. Helen, though. No, she kept it up right till the <laughs> very end. And she made 90, right? 91. She <laughs> went out with an old-fashioned and a Virginia Slim. <laughs> Beautiful. Yep. What a character she was. <laughs> yeah. I, when I remember, when I look back finally at yeah. my Hall of Fame radio career, right. what a bunch of crap that was. But anyway, <laughs> on your coattails, uh, <laughs> my favorite moment will still be when Mary Helen called you up during the break right. and told you you were going to hell. Oh, it's going to be excommunicated. <laughs> you were going oh, it's going to, to be hell. excommunicated. Be. You keep that up, you're getting excommunicated. Okay. <laughs> Yes, Mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rocky going to Joe. Mary Helen. Yeah. <laughs> said, oh, oh, God. <laughs> we got to take a call We here. were making a few jokes about growing up as Catholics, yes. you know, which is funny stuff. And, uh, but <laughs> not of, for Mary Helen. Lots Allen. of yucks. <laughs> not for Mary Helen. Well, here's my problem with it. What the hell was she even doing listening? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Why were you listening? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's yeah. on you. You trusted us. That's right. Yeah. Don't yes. listen. You're supposed to just take yeah. it. Yeah, don't worry right. about it. Yeah, Rude, don't worry about it. Oh, God. All right. What else were you? Uh, if this? somebody said to, if somebody said to her, this is true. If somebody said to her, is that guy in that paper your kid, your son? And she said, what do you write? <laughs> She'd want to know. It'd be, huh? If it was all right, then yeah, yeah that's yeah. him. Yeah, that's him. He's, yeah. he's mine. Yeah. yeah, well, that's. Uh, I think we had a conditional upbringing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what's uh, we we had a uh, we had a trend, you know, years ago, John Sherman from the Sun newspapers, okay. basketball aficionado, mm -hmm. coached a powerhouse, a charter school powerhouse. The Minnesota Transitions, and uh, they were uh, they won a state title. One were they year, trans right? people? No, but now when you look back in history, yeah. people are going to say, Ten <laughs> "Holy cow! Yeah. A whole bunch of transitioning people won the uh, state title back then." Yeah. And it, but it, it was boys. That was it. John Daly said, "Put me in a skirt. I'll win a hundred <laughs> tournaments." <laughs> Boy, does he? Who uh, was this buffoon that showed up at the LPGA? This monster. I'll see if I can find he's, the name. He's the size of Jason Kelsey. Yeah, well, the travel problem is that they have, uh, the, the LPGA has been so all in on it. that Well, they, they, they deserve what they get. Did they, where, where did he finish? Didn't he win? He won he a tournament. Won, he won well, the not, Florida not, Mini Tour event, yeah, but still tour. faces long road to LPGA. I thought he won an LPGA main, event. No, not a main event. No, they I'm were, trying to find the name. They were in the desert somewhere. Haley. Quote unquote, Haley, Haley Davidson butt. won another professional title on a Florida mini tour, yet despite the headlines that are swirling, still has a long way to go before reaching the highest levels of women's golf. The, uh, what was the name of the tennis player? Richard? You know, Haley's Raskin. got the, in this story from the USA Today. Five years ago, 30 years ago. Oh, I know who you're yeah. referring to. I mean, he, he had the surgery. Yeah. If you got the surgery, I'm okay. Okay. You know, that's yeah. fine. Well, but on this one, Pat, uh, Haley uh, in this USA Today story has the skirt on. Oh, really? The LP, you know, the. He's she's, a big fella? Well, well, he looks like Kelsey's mother. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> Daly would be a better looking woman. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's an imperfect size. It really yeah. is. Who said that one? <laughs> you many, did. Many years ago. <laughs> many years ago. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I have no, you know, just don't show them play fourth grade basketball. Yeah, that's you know, a problem. That's not good. I just had an I, email about that. I know. That's why I'm he's not, reacting. Yeah, sure. no, I don't like that. No, no, I think that, I, I kind of agree with Reavers. It's it's too early to, for the kid to make that decision. It is. I'm not against it, but, you know, wait till high school or some damn thing. So now Get your own league. Mm -hmm. How about a league for trans? Yeah, you I don't, don't get to swim against I these kids. Think, I don't think we got enough. Yeah, how's the Penn State swimmer? Is he gone now? Or I don't know. You mean uh, the guy that won all the stuff? Leah right? Thomas. Leah Thomas. Yeah, I think Leah. Leah. Leah has graduated. I believe. Okay. All right. Now she is she trying to make the Olympics? You can't participate, right? Nope. Nope. You cannot. Okay. 
All right. Well, you know, if I was covering that, I'd be I'd be prone to ridicule that. Mm-hmm. If I was writing it, would, uh, I don't think your time would, would be, be long. I don't be, think so. I'd say, I don't think be I'd prone be prone to run out out of, out of the business. <laughs> right. You know what I've done with it? I've digested it and kind of made a decision. Ignore it. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, all the one-liners that are available, just you, you couldn't really. Uh, yeah. You know, it, it just not not going to do you any good. So. Your gophers disappoint you? Yeah, they're not very good. They're, you know, I I don't know. They nobody's going to the games. Oh God, oh my! Wisconsin's here Tuesday. Is Wisconsin going to get a crowd or not? Well, they might bring. Well, they'll bring all the Lakeville people to come watch um, all yeah. of their talent. But yeah, other right. than that, that's I don't true. know that they're good. Oof. I gotta say this: We were at the Lakeville North High School yesterday for a tournament. Mm-hmm. That thing is a college campus. I was at Stillwater Saturday to their hockey, youth hockey bubble, and soccer and hockey complex for the Abbey's uh, game. And Joe, there had to be four thousand people there between the soccer and the hockey. Wait, does Stillwater it's, High School has its own rink? Oh God, yes, but still, this was not. This was a youth rink. This was one one where the varsity plays. They also have a three on three rink out there. Oh, uh, the the lumber yard or some damn thing. They wow. got a. They got all kinds of rinks. But this thing, as I'm saying, here's, you know what's happening to newspaper in America. This is where everybody is, mm-hmm. and they don't care about anything but their kids. Yep. They don't care about anything but how the kids coming out, and uh, it's uh, it, it's amazing. And then, you know, I really feel sorry for those little soccer players walking in. At least hockey, you're playing a real game. You're not having the you know the right. absurd s- soccer game that we imported from communist countries. But uh, <laughs> uh, but it, it's amazing to me the number of people there. And um, you know, grandpas and grandmas, and we had a three grandpa turnout. All three grandpas made it. Wow! Oh, I saw your photo. Yes, yeah. all three grandpas were there. One of the first times that all three have been there. So, who were the three? Well, Ryan's dad, Tim. Yeah. Me. Yeah. And Carrie's dad, Bill. Oh, for Pete's sake! So I count myself as a grandpa. Well, you might as well because I'm financially invested. You're here. fully invested. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I am fully invested. You know, and you know what I do every time I see him, just to make sure I stay in a group. Mm-hmm. Give him a twenty. Well, <laughs> you're buying your loyalty. I am. I'm buying you're loyalty. like a politician. Luke, Luke, how's your money? He said, oh, okay, here's a twenty. Yeah. I said, I said. I said, you know, people tell me the 50 is the new 20. I yeah. said, he says, yeah, I don't want all that change. He said, just give me a 20. <laughs> I don't want all that change. <laughs> so he's not a money miser yet. But anyway, it's uh, it's amazing. <laughs> the, the, these suburban complexes of youth. Uh, oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's unreal. Yeah. It's absolutely unreal. Did, does Lakeville have their own rink? Oh, they, their own rink? Yeah. Joe. <laughs> They've got their own complex that's the size of Medford. Yeah, There's something right. going on out there I don't oh, know anything God, about. It's unbelievable. It's, it's, it, Did yeah. I hear your team, your boys' team, got beat 44 to 4? Well, I blame the third assistant uh, book scorekeeping coach on this one. Uh, that'd be me. Uh, we were a little bit outmatched. Okay. Maple Grove slash Osseo, mm-hmm. they're combined. Yeah. So we had a couple of kids. In fact, my 12 year old came up to me and said, Dad, what's up, buddy? Number 55 is the same height as you. <laughs> <laughs> this kid was a monster. What grade is this? Sixth grade. Yeah, Sixth grade. They might have held Well, what back. happens, there though, is... There is nothing worse to watch <laughs> than youth basketball. Oh, it's, uh, it's... That thing is too big. No, not for sixth grade. Oh, they got there it. are some kids that can handle the ball. We've got a couple kids okay. that are pretty good. Yeah. Apparently, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> You really think, don't. No, well, it's true. Now, when they're done like that, what do you say? Good job, good effort? No. Nope. You say, boy, no. Nope. Here's what I said. Suck. I can tell you exactly what I said. I Boys. Would have said you're walking home. I, s- <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the at the kids. There, we have eight on our team. Yeah. I said, Boys, here's the good news. We get to play two more. That's the only thing you can say after a game like that. So, yesterday they had three games? Three games yesterday. Did they, they win any of them? 
We came close. Yeah. We yeah. came Did close. You get in double figure scoring. Oh, yeah, the next were... game we actually we lost to a St. Paul team, but we we actually had that one in our in our grips, but we let that one slip away. Mm. And then we were edged by who did we play in the third? Rosemont. I was vote. sent a video from a kid I used to have <laughs> showing uh, one of the his kids dribbling the basketball, and I remember this now. The kid. Constantly dribbled when mm-hmm. he was up. He sure. was three years old, he was walking around the house dribbling. He made his mm-hmm. freshman team at this his high school. Wow! He might be a player, wow. but he's st- he at three years old. That kid was always wow. dribbling. Wow! I bought Owen four years old next door. Yeah, with a hoop in the back. I bought him a basketball. You got to yeah for uh, for Christmas. Not a but not a real small one. Not a great big one, but kind of an in between one. And yeah. He's out there, four years old, throwing it in the basket. Wow! And all right, we got to go, man. This is uh, this is way this too is much. Ridiculous. Bonus this is Monday Night Sports time. Look at the time. I, I give you too much entertainment. I give you too much in- what time entertainment. Is it? Oh, holy cow! I'm well, running. That was we'll long see you for later. Us. It's the new year, and everyone is talking about their resolutions. Resolutions are based on topics for which we have become complacent. The Canopy Group has a New Year's resolution for you. Last year, over 2,700 Minnesotans conquered their complacency and contacted the Canopy Group for their home and auto insurance needs. That is an easy call because 80% of those people had only one agent with one company. No options. The Canopy Group offered them 40 professional with 16 companies. Many options. The Canopy Group's New Year resolution has always been to annually examine every existing Canopy client. Each and every day, the Canopy Group team is reaching out to their client base and moving many clients from one of their 16 companies to a different company that they also represent. This is a great call for the Canopy Group to make because it is their ongoing promise to always provide their clients with the best coverage at the best price and forever doing away with the insurance complacency. Call 800-967-3389 or visit thecanopygroup.com.